This is Bella. Ba, ba. Bella, this is Mr. McCandles. Hello, Bella. You've adapted things like you brought history into to the screen and uh, you had a hand in adapting Cruella. Yeah. Um, how does it compare to adapt a novel and specifically this novel? I think this novel was like, um, it was challenging, but the free, because the novel's very big and it's about a lot of different things, it's got a lot of politics, a lot of Scottish politics. Um, but it had this great character, Bella, and it had this great premise. And she's not the center of the novel in a way. The, the, her story is told by other people. So the big challenge was us and Yorgos really wanted like, we're like, how do we put her at the center and make it a movie about her experience? Because that wasn't really written. But it did give us the freedom, for me the freedom to kind of not be slavish to the novel. I could use the beautiful grounding Alistair had brought, but then we could kind of create this woman's journey in it with some freedom and with some kind of using touch points in the novel because we wanted to be faithful to the spirit of it but it but not be slave to it but kind of know we were making a cinema object not a kind of retelling of a novel understand we never lived outside god's house what so bella's so much to discover and your sad face makes me discover angry feelings for you the cruelty of bella was important and i think the kind of those aspects, I just make it are what we are. We're just complicated. We're good and we're bad and we do things for the, we do something for the right reason in the wrong way, you know. <laughs> we're kind of just, so it, it's all that for me. It's just like, there's no black and white. And I know we live in a bit of a black and white world. So I think for me, it's like, I don't see that in people's lived experience. I see them struggling with the idea we have to be like that. And, and and the truth of them being something else. And then they can't be the truth of that thing. And that's a, uh, a bit of a tragedy for all of us, you know. Right. Become the very thing I hate, grasping succubus of a lover. Tried many of them off me, now I'm it. Fuck. you to have something on paper and then to see it on screen was there something in the film that made you be like like does it does seeing it on screen change your view i guess of what you wrote uh not really it kind of cla i think i just get a lot i get a real kick out of seeing it on screen and one of the reasons i love working with yorgos is i know what it's going to be and it is always that but it's always so much more there's no limits he's he wants everyone to go as far as they can go there's no there's no rule of where things should end. You can take a swing as, at, as you know, he, there's never a time he's like, oh, there's a limit, we shouldn't do that. Or if it fits and it's true, and it, then he'll do it. And he kind of like, that's what he's good at is, he's a great artist in that way. He's just like, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to make something complicated that people will watch and hopefully they'll enjoy and hopefully they'll have questions after and the questions don't have to be the same. You know, we're all different. Um, so, yeah, I think it's that. It's, a, it's just got an attitude that's really refreshing. I am Bella Baxter, and there is a world to enjoy, circumnavigate. It is the goal of all to progress, grow. A woman plotting her course to freedom. How delightful. Oh.